shooting and killing four classmates at his high school in Michigan. But because I was in the, like, covering the door so he could get out, he punched me so I could move out of the way. And a mother comes face to face with an intruder after returning home from the movies with her daughter. The search for her attacker. And along the coast, concerns about erosion. Shauna's tracking the unusually high tides and which areas are most at risk. You're watching NBC4. Here's what's happening today in LA. Well, good morning. Thank you for waking up with us here at 7 a.m. It is Saturday, December 4th. I'm Michelle Vias. Let's get you started with a quick check of your weekend forecast with meteorologist Shauna Mandiola. Shauna, the tide is oh, high. Oh, okay. But you're holding on. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> You've got it. It is definitely going to be the case at the beaches, and we put you uh, again on that song so you can remember that if you're headed out to the coast. We've got some high tides here today, also a lot of fog out there. So starting off your Saturday with low visibility. Two and a half miles right now through the San Fernando Valley. Can you see the mountains off in the distance? Don't think you can because that fog is so thick this morning. So that means if you are headed on the roads, please give yourself some distance between you and the car in front of you. Take it slow as well. At the beach, 54 degrees today where the tide is high. And this afternoon we will be partly cloudy with some haze, 62 degrees and cool. Warmer into the valleys with 71 and 70 over the high desert where it's absolutely sunny right now. So depending on where you are, that determines how much sunshine you're going to see for your morning walks or what you got going on this morning. We're going to get you ready for the rest of the day in a few minutes with that seven day forecast. We'll send it back to Michelle. Shauna, thank you. Breaking news now. The fugitive parents of the 15 year old accused of shooting and killing four teenagers at his high school in Michigan have been captured. Police arrested James and Jennifer Crumley 40 miles away in Detroit hours after they missed their arraignment. They each face four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Their son, Ethan Crumley, is accused of using a a gun his father purchased on Black Friday in Tuesday's school shooting. We, we were going to use as, as much uh, personnel as necessary to, to give the families in, in Oxford the closure that they need in this very, very tragic incident that really has touched not just this community, not just the state, uh, you know, but this country. I mean, we're, we're tired of this. I mean, this is awful. Cromley's parents were dismissive of several concerns recently raised by Ethan's teachers. They say they spotted him searching for ammunition on his phone and drawing violent pictures showing a person holding a handgun standing over several victims. We're also following a developing story out of Bellflower where authorities are searching for an intruder who attacked a woman at her home. It happened late last night on Bayou Avenue. The woman was walking into her home when she says she saw a man in her house. The man punched her in the face and took off while the woman suffered minor injuries. She says she's just so glad her family is safe. I came from the movies with my daughter and as soon as I walked in, I felt something was wrong because I, everything was all over the floor and I didn't leave my house like that. I had my baby with me. She's, you know, she, she witnessed it pretty much. And I had to put her back in the car for her safety, locked it. Investigators say nothing was taken from the home. So far, no arrest. Now to the pandemic. There are now five new California cases of the Omicron variant in Alameda County in the Bay Area, including a family that traveled to Wisconsin for a wedding over Thanksgiving and tested positive yesterday. Yesterday on Today in LA, we told you LAX is taking steps to offer rapid COVID testing for international travelers at the Tom Bradley Terminal. Orange County is also offering free at-home tests for those who get vaccinated. And next week, those tests will be available to anyone getting off a flight at John Wayne Airport at no cost. And as we count down to Christmas, the Los Angeles Fire and Police Departments are working to make the holidays a little happier for hundreds of less fortunate families. Already adding to the cheer is NBC4's Lauren Coronado live in historic South Central, where a big party is about to kick off. Lauren, good to see you this morning. Good morning. 
Michelle, good morning. They're calling it a real life miracle on 34th Street celebration, and they're already getting ready for families to make their way over here. Joining me live to break down what the event entails is Lisa with the organization making it all possible. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Talk to us a little bit about what we can expect. We know hundreds of families will be here, right? Yes. We're the Los Angeles Trial Lawyers Charities, and we're partnering with the Newton Police Department and the Fire Department to make comfort and joy possible for 500 families in the Los South Los Angeles area. Each of the families have received tickets, given us the ages of genders of their of their children, so we have toys. Right behind me, you can see that there are bags of goodies for everybody, everything from toilet paper and paper towels and uh, cookie mix and biscuit mix and canned goods for the families, and then we have bags of toys for each of the children. I love that, and I know, walk with me this way, I know that a lot of families are excited, they'll be lining up pretty soon. It looks like you guys even have a DJ here and inflatables that are going to be lining up the street. I see you guys blew them up already. Talk to me about not only the need, but just the excitement behind the holiday spirit. In the past, we have done huge events.